everyone. Welcome into Crochet Your Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah. And we're going to jump right into it today. This is number 24. Yeah, I've been doing this for 24 weeks. What? Okay, tons of stuff today. Some unexpected things and actual progress on a whip. You know which one, don't you? All right, I'm actually gonna start off with my whips today because I am so thrilled that I have some progress on one of them. This is not the one. I will start off with this one because I started working on this yesterday and I'm gonna end up pulling out a bunch of stitches because I didn't put stitch markers in it. This is gonna be a hand towel. Yes, it's in a camo sort of a print. That's It's out of camo cotton and um, it's gonna have a top and it'll hang over a towel bar and like secure to it like you do the ones on your stove. This is by request of someone who also has a camo hat that I made. Hmm, uh, check my Facebook group. Yes, there will be a link to my Facebook group down below. It is a thing that exists. It's small, but eventually it will be mighty. Join me. But yes, little towel, just started working on it yesterday. The other whip that you should be proud of me. I'm proud of me. The hubby blanket has had some work done on it, finally. When last we spoke, it was down here. Now it is up here. And this is kind of a big sucker, so... Yeah, that many rows actually is an accomplishment for me. Not a fast crocheter here. So, yes, the hubby blanket has finally gotten some love, despite the heat and humidity of Georgia, because it's been hot. Ugh. Me no like. No me gusta. No me gusta. And I'm just going to set this over here so that I can show you other things. There are foes. Now there are some foes that I don't have with me anymore because they have been shipped off to Rolex Crochet for wings. Um, <clears throat> three bag a day hats that I, you know, finished up and two of those hats I made things to go with it. One a cowl and one a scarf. Again, things we don't really need in Georgia. So, but in Chicago they do. The one with the scarf is made out of this lovely stuff. This is just yarn. I used a little bit of this ball, so I can't put it up in my non-used uh, area of yarn. This one is called Marmalade, and it is actually soft and squishy. Dollar Tree, y'all. I was lucky to find this color. I really, really like it. Uh, the other one that I made a cowl with is this yummy stuff. It's a Schackenmeyer... I, I refer to it as Studebaker. I could never pronounce it right. Um, it is a blend. It's got some wool in it, but you really can't fill the wool. It's nice and squishy and an interesting pattern of yarn with colors in it. Uh, it's one of Bagaday's hats. And I made a cowl. This is all I have left of it, though. So, eh, never made a cowl before. So, it's kind of a thing. No, no pattern because that's how I roll, apparently. Um, some other finished items. Oh dear, I must pause this because I just threw something on the floor. Yes, for you it was a moment. For me, it was an embarrassing bend over thing. Okay, uh, yesterday, day before, day before yesterday, uh, the hubby had to have some surgery done on his toe right from the office. If you ever had ingrown, ingrown toenails, you will know that it's a pain in the toe. And I've had them and I had to have the surgery to make the edges not go pokey through me anymore. While I was sitting there, because I actually don't mind watching stuff like that. I watched when I had my own done. He didn't want to see it, but I was also crocheting. This is some um, cotton with the name of psychedelic. This is just double crochets, no pattern. Just like let's crochet while we're sitting there. And then I outlined it in a yellow color that kind of matches, put a hoop on it. This one is for me. This one is not going to Rose Lights Crochet. I'm just kind of enamored with these colors. Um, yeah, I may have to pick up some more of the psychedelic. The only thing is, if you're ever crocheting with this, just know that these blues and greens will get on your fingers. Yeah, this is definitely going to require a cold wash with some vinegar to really set things, but it is 100% cotton. So there's that. Another finished object. Yes, I have been busy. I told you. Uh, this was a by request kind of thing. Uh, a dear friend wanted a back washer. 
So I made it out of Red Heart Scrubby, which is that it, it is scrubby, but it's gentle enough on the skin, especially when you mix it with some cotton. Um, uh, yes, the colors are wild, but it was what I had left and it's just a, a test sort of a thing. This is one to where you don't have to have your arms way up high and stuff because she has some mobility issues because of her back. So you can just kind of flip this over and do it like this without having to have your arms in all kinds of crazy positions to get your back scrubbed and it will scrub and it will hang and dry. Um, I also put some extra cotton around the edges so that it's not so harsh on the hands because you do it long enough and that scrubby will get a little irritating on your hands, so just a little extra. But it's just a test. Um, I may modify it and make some others. Again, no pattern because that's how I roll. So, moving right along. Always more crochet type stuff and life stuff. And my list has disappeared. Oh, here it is. Gotta love it. Okay, the foes. The back washer. Oh, have you ever gotten something in the mail and been like, what is this? I didn't order anything, did I? Well, it turns out I didn't order anything. I'm just kind of a doof and forgot. Uh, I won something from Stephanie at Stephanie's Yarn Escape during the No Fi Filter Fiber Cast. And it was a bag of cotton. Now, it came in this lovely bag, crinkly, crinkly. Yes, I already opened it because I had no idea what it was. I'm like, what is this? The hubby brings in the mail and he's like, it feels yarny to me. Yeah, that's no surprise. I uh, got this cute little yarn bag with uh, some cute little yarns in it. First off, Yarn Squad. Hello. Yeah, that kind of suits me. It's a nice little project bag too, which I need. Okay. Some Comfy Cotton Blend. In the color, I think this one is stained glass. Now this stuff, this is 200 grams, which is about 358 meters. Uh, it's a three weight and yeah, I would go with that. I've made a whole top out of Comfy Cotton Blend and I really like it. Um, it's very squishy, ends up being quite soft. It is 50 cotton, 50 poly. So yes, thank you. What else is in here? Hubby and I looked up how to try to say this. My mouth won't make those sounds. Shipkis? Shipkis? Or we can just point at it and go, sheep G's, even though it's wrong. Because, well, yeah. And oh my gosh, I want more of this cotton. Holy smokes. This is in the color Jade. It's 70 cotton, 30 acrylic. It's 50 grams, about 75 meters. It says it's Aran weight. Yeah, with the fuzz. It's got a little bit of a fuzzy halo on it. Otherwise, I would say it's a lighter Aran weight. But, oh, it's soft. It's really nice. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may have to crochet some up just to see, you know, what it's like. It says it takes a 5 millimeter hook. Yeah, probably. Digging down in the back here because there's several other things in here. Sugar and cream. Love me some sugar and cream for making my kitchen stuff. And the bathroom stuff, the washcloths and things. This is a pretty one. It's 100% cotton. It is called Faded Denim, which I have some other blues that will work with as a solid border because that's what I like to do. This is uh, 56.7 grams. It's about 86 meters. So, yeah. I really like that color combo, too. And there's one more thing in here. Remember me talking about this washcloth that I made a while ago? The really bright colored, crazy colored one. I have more. Yes, this is more of the psychedelic. Uh, this is, I believe, the same stats as the other one. Yeah, 86 meters. This isn't psychedelic. It's 100% cotton. Those colors, y'all. Those colors are everything. Love them. Thank you, Stephanie. And if you haven't checked out Stephanie's Yarn Escape, you need to do so. She does fantastic work. Um... She is also on the No Filter Fiber Cast, which is fun to watch, and that's how I won those. Uh, she and her cohort are always doing like giveaways and fun things and cows and everything. So, yeah, be sure to check them out. Link will be below. Of course, it will. All right, setting that down. There are some other acquisitions because, of course, there are. 
had to stop by Walmart. I had to pick up prescriptions as one does. And the hubby, there was a bench set up. They brought, they brought the benches back out. Thank goodness. He was sitting down fiddling with his phone. And I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to go take a look at school supplies. I love office supplies and school supplies. It's a thing. Um, yeah, just try and stop me from looking at him. He's like, yeah, I'll be here. Whatever. I'll look at all the school supplies, make it through without picking up even one single thing. A proud of me. Okay. I said, clearance. It's right over there. It's right over there. I'll just check it out. I get to the clearance thinking I'm not going to find anything because, you know, they never have yarn. And most of the time their clearance isn't really clearance priced in my opinion. I'm, in my opinion, if you want to get something out of the store, you're going to mark it down. They take like 50 cents off of something that's $10 and call that clearance. No, no, not in this girl's world. But, but I was surprised. It's a good thing I had a buggy in front of me to hold on to or else I may have fallen down from the shock of it all and the clutching of my pearls. I don't know in pearls, but you know what I mean. Because I found yarn. Oh, did I find yarn. Bag number one. Okay. I got a bunch of this. I don't know how many of each color, and I did leave a lot there. If anybody else goes to the one in Tacoa, Georgia, I left a bunch there. Don't blame it on me if it's gone. Uh, these mainstays, what are they calling it? Feather Fringe Yarn. It is 100% polyester, but it's super soft. I'm thinking that it'll make really cute amigurumis because it is fuzzy. Okay, look at that pretty color. This one they're calling... Sweet Violet. I don't disagree. Got a bunch of those. Now, let me see if I can do this and not drop everything. I'm going to be putting all of these in this awesome little beachy type bag that I got because this pale girl does not go to the beach. Okay. I also got it in gray. Yeah, it's blowing out a little bit. This one is called Platinum Silver. It's gray, y'all. It's gray. Okay two of those in this bag there might be more in other bags got a white one I know I've got one or two more someplace else of the white and what are they calling this one arctic white wouldn't this make a cute stuffy bear like or maybe a kitty yes maybe a Sir Pur Mr. Perzalot or Sir Perzalot I may have to pick up that pattern okay and also <laughs> I told you there's plenty um what is this one Oh, opaline green. Y'all, it's a light mint green. Okay, you don't have to get all fancy with it. It's mainstays, you know. Oh, by the way, it is 100% polyester. It calls it a three weight. And yeah, I think it would work as a three. If you wanted to squish it, you could probably also pretend it's a two. But a three is it would work with the fuzz on it. It's called for a four and a half millimeter hook. I think if you're doing some ammies out of it, you'll go smaller on the hook anyway. Machine wash, tumble dry, blah blah blah, no iron. Those are the symbols if you need it. But yeah, I got these for a buck fifty. A skein. Okay, I got two of those. And in this bag, there's also two blues. And the blues are called Blue Shell. Isn't that pretty? But is that all? Of course, it's not all. All right. Bag a number two. Don't give me that look. Here's some more of that Arctic white. Couple more of the, what they're calling platinum silver that I call a pretty gray. Another Arctic white. See, I knew I had some more of those. And a couple more of the blue shell. Look, I was just grabbing them by the arm load and throwing them in my buggy. And when I came around to the hubby again, he's like, oh my God. <laughs> I thought you were going to look at school supplies. Yeah, but the clearance called my name. Now, bag number three. The final bag. This isn't going to go on all day. 
got a bunch of this stuff. The Mainstays Velvet Yarn. Yeah, it looks a little tore up in, in the skein. I will deal with that. Um, this stuff is 243.7 grams, which is about 73 meters per skein. But it is a super bulky six. It feels so soft. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not going to be working with it right now, though. It is just too darn hot to work with this. But, uh, yeah. Machine wash, cold, dry, flat, do not bleach. Yeah, do not iron. Why would you iron this stuff? Why would you bleach this? It's so pretty. And I am running out of room in this big old beach bag. I got that one. Oh, what color was this? Does it even say? Here we go. Looking for the color. Can you not put it someplace obvious? Ah, gray flannel. Good name for it. This is all in the grays. This is a variegated one that is called Neutral Multi. See, they didn't go all wild with color names on this. Okay. And in the variegated, yeah, 73.1 meters. So it's it's the same as the other. Got these for $250 a ball. Now in this one, I see a knot. I'm not mad at it though. It's $250 a ball. These were like six or seven bucks or more. And the hubby's looking at me like, what are you going to do with all that? I'm like, uh, you're the one that requested something out of this fuzzy yarn. Okay. I don't know that he'll get it, but I know he requested it. Here's some more. I know that's awful, isn't it? Um, of the gray flannel. Oh my gosh, this bag is heavy. I'll have to toss it in there because I'm not holding that anymore. Oh, I just want to squish it. Brownstone. Isn't that pretty? Wow, that's a beautiful neutral. And these all kind of work together so that I got a bunch of different colors is okay because all of the colors are in this uh, neutral multi that I have three more balls of. So, yeah. All in all, I spent too much. Uh, <laughs> lady saw me. She asked if I was, because I went to buy to, you know, pick up the hubby and I'm like, Okay, I got all this. We better check out before I shop some more, right? And this lady, are you in line for the pharmacy? No, no, I just came from the clearance section. I said, if you crochet or knit, you may want to head over there. She said, oh, you, you're going to be busy. I said, this winter, I'll be busy. I'm not working with this stuff in the summertime. But, oh my gosh. Ugh. It's full. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Is it full? So, yes, I'm looking around at my cubes going, where am I going to put this? This may be staying in this bag for a while because I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. Oh, before we kind of wind it down and wrap it up a little bit, I do have an announcement to make. I'm going to be doing some very, very beginner tutorials. Uh, as far as what's planned, they're coming out on Fridays. Um, yesterday, on th this past Friday, is, I did not put one out because that is the replay of where Lisa and I, Lisa, Ladybird Loves, hello Lisa, uh, played Two Truths and a Lie or Two Lies and a Truth, depending on who it was, and had a cackling good time. We all learned a lot about each other. The chat was hilarious. Watch the replay or go back to Lisa's and watch it on hers. It's all good fun. Yes, Monday Gaming Mayhem, at least of Ladybird Loves. Always a good time. And I do have a shout out, two shout outs actually. Uh, the first one is Yarny in Nature. Uh, a Yarn Addict with Karen. You may know Karen already. She's been on the YouTube streets with the rest of us for a while. She puts out fun videos. She starts off her videos with, hi, I'm Karen and I'm a yarn addict, which always makes me giggle. And um, she has been doing here and there some videos, really informative, you know, pack your brain full of cool crochet info videos. She's done one on cashmere. I learned about cashmere, a lot of stuff that I did not know from Miss Karen. And yes, she's doing one on cotton. You might think cotton, everybody knows about cotton. No. I guarantee you don't. She's going to come up with some great information and she's a lot of fun and she is a super sweet lady. She's been doing a ton of giveaways too. So you may want to go check her out. Okay. And I have a non-Yarny shout out. 
Uh, my non-yarny shout out today is, is travel based because I enjoy watching people's travels because I don't get to go anywhere. Um, it's one that's called Walter's World, W-O-L-T-E-R-S World. Uh, link will be below as well. He and his family go all these places all around the world and he puts out videos like, you know, 10 things not to do in such and such place. But it's always like really positive stuff. It's not like, you know, you can't do this here because they don't allow it. No, it's like, look, don't miss this awesome thing when you go there. Don't be afraid to try this awesome food. You know, I really enjoy his content. It's very positive. He's a lot of fun. And he and his family are on there. His kids are starting to grow up some and they're on there and they get to do all these awesome travels. And I kind of wish he would adopt me because I'd go travel too. You know, I'm just saying, Walter's World, I'm here. But uh, that's all we've got for today. Oh, wait a minute. I missed a bag. <laughs> I just saw it out of here in the corner of my eye. It was like calling me, going... No, honey, you're not done. Another one of these, of course. But I also picked up some Red Heart Super Saver. <laughs> wow, my camera is not doing that justice. It's showing it as a neon. It is not a neon pink. It's called Grenadine. Like that pink stuff that you put in sweet drinks. Got that. I got a hot red. Again, the camera's blowing it out big time. It is a nice bright red though, but it's it's Red Heart Super Saver. It's kind of rough. You wash it, it'll soften up some. And I got Flame. I was gonna say Flamme, which didn't make any sense at all. It's like, why am I reading this in another language? It is Flame. They're all four weights. They are all 100% uh, acrylic. Machine wash and dry, yada yada. You could do a center pull, supposedly. I'm not going to count on that. Five millimeter hooks. How much is in this sucker? <sighs> well, oh, okay. 333 meters, 198 grams in each one of those. Yeah, I, I couldn't resist. It was on clearance. Two dollar for that big old skinny yarn. And I know I'll be able to use it for something. And I also picked up a few more of these that I got uh, last week. Let's see if I can get these all with one hand. This is that sort of bumpy cotton. They are 100% cotton. Um, $2. Yeah, these were $2 a pop. Vanilla Dream and Cherry Blossom. That's a very light rose color. Very bumpy. I'm thinking baskets out of this. Some kind of home decor kind of thing. I don't think it will be very good for a wearable unless you want something that's very heavy. But yeah. Okay, I promise. That's the end. Thanks for coming by. I would appreciate it muchly if you would uh, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, there's also a bunch of other links down in the description below. Always some good stuff down there. You should check it out on any video that you watch on the YouTubes because, yeah, you never know what we're going to have. That was my receipt. It is all yarn. <sighs> yeah. See y'all soon, and don't forget to check out Tuesday Reviews coming up Tuesday.